Hey guys, so check it out. I typically don't do little 100 watt solar panel reviews because frankly, they're kind of boring. This particular solar panel though, to your right, is from Shade Stopper and they claim that it is more efficient when partially shaded. Now, a lot of panels have the bypass diodes and the nine or 10 bus bars and the half cut cells. So I honestly don't know what makes this particular solar panel special and able to enable it to perform with more efficiency when it's partially shaded than say another 100 watt solar panel that I have behind me. So we're gonna be doing a test. But right now, gang, this 100 watt panel from Shade Stopper is $98. It is on sale. I don't know how long that sale is gonna last, but 98 bucks, less than a dollar a watt for a 100 watt panel is fantastic. I think they're normally $189. But so far, just setting this up and testing it, it feels really nice. It actually feels better than this EBL panel behind me. It's got the ETFE coating. It comes with a lot of good heavy gauge cables. But anyway, I got this hooked up to my AC-180T right now. And let's see what kind of output we're getting from it. And again, it's a 100 watt panel. And Eighty-four watts off of a off of a hundred watt panel at ten a.m. in February, guys. That is pretty dang good for an output off of a hundred watt panel. So that alone uh, kind of surprises me that I'm able to get that much juice, and we're still getting around 83, 84 watts. Now I'm going to hook up this EBL to this Blue Eddy, and we're going to see what kind of output we get from that, and then we'll do some some shade testing. So right now I've got. The shade stopper panel hooked up. We're gonna unplug the solar from that. And we're gonna grab the EBL 100 watt panel. All right, get this out of the shade, get this out of the sun. So that EBL is hooked up, it's not registering anything. There we go, we're bumping up. We're at, see look at that guy, 68, 70 watts. So right off the bat, this shade stopper panel is giving about 20 more watts, exact same angle to the sun. So every, so the conditions are the exact same. And I can tell you right now that this shade stopper panel is outperforming the EBL. And yeah, we're still getting 70, 68, 67, let's, let's say 70 watts. And that is hooked up to this EBL. All right, let's try this one more time. I'm gonna hook up the shade stopper panel. <sighs> I love doing this stuff, guys. It's fun to me. All right, shade stopper's hooked up. Get you out of the glare. Let's let it register here. Already above the EBL, look at that. 82 watts. Yep, so if I just stopped there, I would say, that shade stopper panel is a dang good deal for $98 right now. But I'm gonna partially cover that up with a towel and see what kind of output we get. So I got my handy towel here. Now I'm not gonna cover up the whole panel, that's silly, because we know that that wouldn't work, but to kind of simulate like a, a tree branch shadow or whatever, I think this is gonna kind of depict that pretty well. So let's just cover it up just a little bit. And now we're getting 45 watts. 60 watts. 64 watts. Holy smokes, guys, that's... That is really good. Um, if any of you know anything about solar panels, as soon as these panels get a little bit of shade on them, they basically completely stop their output. You'll get a few watts coming out of it, of course, but any shade and you're basically screwed with, with any kind of solar output until that shade goes away. And you can see I've got quite a bit of it shaded with that towel. Now I'm gonna put this towel over the EBL and kind of show you what you can expect for decrease in output. So basically gonna cover up the same amount. I think that's pretty fair. So let's unhook the shade stopper panel. Okay, so we're hooked up. Now with that EBL partially shaded, 
36 watts. I'm impressed. I think that's a, I think that, that, that shade stopper panel, I don't know what they do to it. I'm not that smart with solar uh, equipment, but it does seem to work better when it's shaded. And even without shade for 98 bucks, 85 watts off of that panel in February before noon. I think that's, a, that, that, that's performing really well. I'm, I'm pretty surprised with that, with those results. Yeah, and we're still getting 36 watts. So, yeah guys, I'm pretty impressed. Let me take you inside just real quick and kind of show you the cables that this thing comes with because I think right now that's a pretty good deal. Like I said, sorry to geek out on you folks, but I just find this stuff really interesting and for the price of this thing, that's amazing. But up close, here's the panel, but you got your two kickstands, uh, Velcro attached. So you got two of them. And then here in this bag, you can open it up and you even have a USB-C and a USB-A output. And here is the output ratings on that. So you're gonna have five and a half amps max for your, for your solar panel. And then your type C output's actually 45 watt on that power delivery. So really good output ratings on these USB-Cs and USB-A so you can hook up your phone directly to the solar panel or your laptop, iPad, whatever, and charge it directly from this panel. But the direct wiring that's on this is you get about a, I'd say about a four foot cable barrel connector, and it comes with all different kinds of cords to use for whatever power station you have. And what I was using was this barrel, female barrel connection to MC4, and I just connected it up just to that right there. Now, there's other power stations. You've got your Jackery style that'll hook up directly to the solar panel. You've got your XT60 that'll hook up directly into a power station. And then it also comes with Anderson connections and a few more barrel adapters in the event you need these. So just, I mean, even the stuff that it comes with, and it, I've said it again, 98 bucks, guys, that's, that's, that's good. Now up close, it's got that, that, that ETFE coating on it. And the, you know, canvas, it's got the, the magnetic closures. It snaps pretty, pretty positively. And then it doesn't come up. You've got your grommet holes if you do want to hang it. So there's really not much else to say on the solar panel other than you saw the results. It performed really well. And gosh, if you can pick this up for less than a hundred bucks, I'm even, I wouldn't mind having two of these and hooking them up together because that's still less than 200 bucks for 200 watts of solar. And I bet you a dollar that I would still get more output off of these than a 200 watt panel if you had two of these hooked up in parallel or series, however you want to do it. And that's still less money than buying a 200 watt panel. That's pretty cool. So anyway, guys, I'll leave a link for this. It's directly to their website. It's not an Amazon affiliate link or anything, and I'm not getting any money for this, but I'll leave a link. Um, for you to go check it out if they're still on sale. And if they are, I would, I would pick up a few of them. And I'm probably gonna look at getting at least one more again to, to make 200 watt panel off of these because that's still a better deal. So anyway, gang, thanks for watching. I thought it was pretty fun. I love doing this stuff. So uh, stay tuned and we'll see you next time. Take care.